your laughter and your clapping and see your drinking, don't forget to put your name in the bowl to win some free tickets to the Funny Ball. Now put your hands together just one more time. I know you got it in you. Coming to the stage right now, very funny man, Mr. Chris Martin. I'm always nervous when I do stand-up comedy. More nervous than a ham hock around Paula Dean. More nervous than Sandra Bullock on an Italian cruise. More nervous than a 10-year-old boy in a Penn State locker room shower. But I'm also excited. I'm more excited than Herman Cain on a date with the Huntsman Sisters. <laughs> Newt Gingrich is surging in his pants. Newt, uh, his wife said, his second wife said that he wanted to have an open relationship. For years, Newt stayed away from Wi-Fi because he thought it stood for wife fidelity. <laughs> Newt says he's going to be leaving Florida on January 31st. However, he's returning for spring break. He's going to be doing a Canada's Gone Wild video. Ron Paul says he knows he's not going to win the Florida primary. However, he's still putting out a campaign paper on the role of the early bird special in Austrian economics. <laughs> Mitt Romney's been getting a lot of criticism for being a venture capitalist. You know you're a, vent, you're a vulture capitalist when Newt, Perry, when Newt Gingrich, Rick Perry, and Montgomery Burns all call you a vulture capitalist. Uh, according to Nightline, Mitt has a Cayman Islands bank account. I also have a bank account on an island. I've got a piggy bank buried on Browns Island. <laughs> Mitt Romney was criticized for strapping a dog on his car roof and driving to Canada on a family vacation. The final straw was when he drove from New Hampshire to South Carolina with Newt Gingrich strapped on his car hood. <laughs> Mitt Romney celebrated Martin Luther King Day by strapping a striking sanitation worker on his car roof and driving from Memphis to South Carolina. <laughs> What? <laughs> Florida strip clubs celebrated Martin Luther King Day. This gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, the South will rise again. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. would have been spinning in his grave, except he was too busy getting a lap dance with Rosa Parks. <laughs> Michelle Obama appeared on iCarly. Mitt Romney retaliated by appearing as an extra in iRobot. <laughs> well, Barack Obama's been compared to Spock. Mitt Romney's been compared to a robot. I can't tell whether I'm watching CNN or the Sci-Fi Channel. <laughs> the other week I said that Mitt Romney had changed, more, changed positions more often than Pamela Anderson. I want to apologize for that. I actually meant to say he's changed positions more often than Jenna Jameson. <laughs> Romney says he's going to do well in Florida because Florida is a state that has always welcomed flip-floppers. <laughs> His plan B, if he's not elected, he's going to marry the Huntsman girls and he's going to do a reality TV version of Big Love. Marines accused of urinating on Taliban corpses. Don't understand why everybody's outraged. They were just pee -bowing. <laughs> My name's Chris Martin. Thank you very much for your time. We start to trip your bartender, Austin. Welcome back to the stage, Miguel Kentner. Chris Martin, everybody. Give me your dose of topical humor. Keep it going now. Next coming to the stage, we have a very funny man, Mr. Remo. Not to be confused with Nemo. Remo, where you at? Yeah, yeah. How you guys doing? All right. 
Um, I've been hearing about, uh, you know, Kobe and his wife uh, getting a divorce. And you know, one thing I'm tired of, people keep saying, well, she wasn't in the gym when he was shooting. I'm like, well, you know, she was in the bed when he was doing target practice. And you know, uh, Kobe, uh, this game, everything's half off, so <laughs> he pretty much shoots. <laughs> so um, I've been on Facebook a lot, man. And uh, Facebook is kind of funny, man. I, I, people post their most personal business, you know. It, it's just crazy on there. But the thing that gets me the most is on Facebook is those names. You know, people have all this long ass made up middle names. You know what I'm saying? Like Amanda, who want their hair done thinner? Oh. Dog Shay, stand above my haters clock. It's like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know how when people get mad, they say their whole name. It's like, I know they ain't talking about Dog Shay, stand above my haters clock. <laughs> are you serious? That, you know, if they have to see, they go and they have to go to, you know, they fill out applications. If you have to put your whole Facebook name and what your, your your Facebook status will be on your resume, what kind of reaction would that be? Like, how awkward would that be going into the, you know, the interview and he's like, can't bet my baby daddy ain't shit rose. Because <laughs> here on your resume, men aren't shit. <laughs> really? I don't think this job's going to work out for you. <laughs> don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> Or it'd be like, Alicia Super Soaker Saunders says here on your resume, you're like, your vagina pleased? <laughs> really? Lock the door. Uh, how bad do you really want this job? <laughs> you're on overtime right now. <laughs> I'm not even hired. Don't worry about that. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> I hate when people send you a friend request, you know, and it's added, like, it's a crazy ass name and it's no picture. So, you know, when the, when the name come up, it's like, you have a friend request from loving Danny Boo all over. Like, who the fuck is loving all over? Like, what kind of shit is this? You know, when you look up, you know, mutual friends, you're like, you know, what kind of friends you got in common? It'd be somebody with a stupid name, like, fuck love middle finger. Like, I'll never figure out who this person is, honestly. And everybody, every guy has that one friend with that hot ass profile picture. It's almost like a porn site. You know, when you scroll down, it's like lotion and, and uh, paper towels automatically pop up for no reason. You like, what? Right down that click. Wow. Zoom. I don't know where this lotion came from, but <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> that's crazy. But um, I realize, you know, a lot of times it's not, you know, you know, people say some people say crazy things, but it's not really what you say. I think it's more who says it and who hears it. You know what I mean? Like if I go, you know, I got all, you know, a white girl I'm chilling with, I'm like, hey man, you know, I go with my friends like, dude, like, man, you know, go with my white friends, hey man, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know that white chick I was with yesterday? She hopped in a Bronco and I killed that shit. <laughs> but if OJ says it. <laughs> No way, OJ. No way. <laughs> or, if I, you know, I'm like, yo, man, I was running. And I think I look good. And, like, hey, that's what she said. But if Herman Cain says it. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, no way, Herman. <laughs> or if something happened real fast, shoo, you see, you like, dude, did you see that? But if Ray Charles says it, this shit just got awkward. <laughs> Hey man, I made this nice and quick, man. So uh, I'm making way for the rest of the comics, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show, man. <laughs> nice set, uh, Rainbow. Everybody, keep it going. Don't forget, you can be eligible for some free tickets to the Funny Ball. All you gotta do is put your name on a slip of paper and your email address. Drop it in the green basket in the back, and there's gonna be a drawing later on in the evening. But right now, we're going to get it hyped up again. Put your hands together for the man in the pork pie hat, Mr. Dave. 